see what happens. Here, come on, man. Please get me all those guys. Oh, well, man. It won't be too bad of a loss, but, I mean, we could really use him. Welcome back to the Princeton Tigers. Okay, guys, we are going to be doing the offseason. Sad but true, guys. Um, going to be saying goodbye to all the players. And we welcome in to the new Princeton Tigers. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, though. Because we have one uh, coach change to address. Um, we got a new defensive coordinator at the helm, uh, Mike Tressel. Or Mike Tressel, I don't know how to say it. But uh, he's a very good coach, as you can see. 23. He's only four levels away from being maxed out. So, dude's really good. Gonna be Should be helping out our defense pretty good there. Here we are, guys. Players leaving. Players leaving. Let's get going. So, Connor Vickers. Uh, he's declared. We, he's projected round four. We can get him to stay here. All right, there we go. We got Connor Vickers to stay here. Rodney and Neil should get him to stay as well. There we go. Right. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> well, Sledge, guys, first player to talk about here. Going to be a big hit to our defense. I mean, he was a very, very good player, guys. I mean, he did have the, he had a lot of tackles his career. Stats may not have shown it, uh, but he... It did really good. Four interceptions, 178 tackles, two fourth fumbles, seven pass deflections. I mean, this guy was pretty much a lockdown guarantee. Gonna be a tough loss to the defense, guys. He's a really good player. Sledge, 78 overall athlete, 92 speed. We're down. Let's see if we can get the stop here. Get off the field. He's gonna throw it short. And Will Sledge just absolutely lowers him. Or right, short, that's Will Sledge. It's Will Sledge getting the INT. Can he take it to the house? Yes, he can. Will Sledge. That is my bro right there. Will Sledge getting the INT. Pick six. Jason Downing, guys. You got old Jason Downing, dude. This guy was automatic. I mean, three for four, freshman year, three for eight. Because I just messed around that year, kicked a bunch of uh, long kicks and stuff. Nine for ten, then 16 for 16. For long of 59. 100% field goal percentage is, is uh, senior year. 100% extra points. Look how many touchbacks. 218 touchbacks. I mean, this dude is insane, guys. Jason Dowdy, are you clutch? I don't know if this is good or not. Last kick of the game. Jason Downing. Through the uprights! Guys, we going Jason Downing. 59 yard field goal, the senior kicker. Can he get it done? That's fourth and inches. But man just kicked a 59 yard field goal. And our last victim to the draft, guys, is Cam Hayes. He was a really good receiver for us, guys. Um, kind of had, he got, kind of got stuck in that slot position. Um, but. He's a really good player. Didn't didn't have as much as his senior year. Freshman, sophomore year is really good. Senior, junior. Uh, he kind of got taken over the depth chart some, but he started to pick it up there at the end of the senior year. But, I mean, he's a really good player for us, guys. Hate to see him go. Really do. Cam Hayes. I found some res good, decent receivers on uh, Lo Lo Lock Cheese. So, he's a gym. Cam Hayes, 77 overall. 92 speed. It's pretty dang good. 75 catching, 82 route running. Okay, we got Cam Hayes. Oh boy. Perfect pass. Touchdown, Princeton. Let's go, Cam Hayes. True freshman getting his first touchdown of the year. First and 10 here. RB open. Cam Hayes again. Touchdown, Princeton Tigers. Third and 20. Cam Hayes goes up and catches it. What a catch. Second 10. RB. Cam Hayes. Good block. Touchdown. Let's go. Third and goal. Try to screen pass. It works again. That outright on the screen pass. Cam Hayes gets his second touchdown of the game. David Williamson, guys. He's going to be missed, guys. He was part of that original recruiting class with uh, Christian Phillips and... Uh, Grady Leatherwood and all those guys, uh, Cody White, so, I mean, all those guys, he was part of them, I redshirted him, though, but, I mean, he, was, he wasn't that big of a name, guys, but he stepped in and made some big catches for us, guys, when we needed him. Uh, you really hate to see him go, man, but he's a good, he was a good player for us, 
Andy Elliott started his senior year, got 23 tackles. Did really good. Got an interception as well, two pass deflections. Really show that really showed out his senior year, but I hate to see him go, man. He's a really good player. Marcus Dingle, guys, this is a tough one. Dude, Marcus Dingle got so many sacks. 29 sacks in his uh, career. Only three years. But man, what a player. 29 total QB sacks. Covered a fumble too, one to him. He was the monster on the defensive line, guys. It's gonna be tough to see him go. Anton Ramirez, guys, another one. Another tough one. I mean, he wasn't. I mean, he was. He was. He was pretty good, guys. Uh, he he didn't turn out as good as I thought he was gonna be, but I mean, he still did really good. Eight interceptions on his career. 107 total tackles. Eight tackle for loss. Seven pass deflections. First and ten. Let's see if the defense can get a stop here. Anton Ramirez all over that. Yes, sir. Go, Anton Ramirez. Touchdown, Prince the Tiger. Yeah. Lance Henderson, guys, another tough one to see. Tough one to lose on the defensive line, guys. 88 total tackles, 34 TFLs, 14 and a half quarterback sacks, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. This guy's a monster as well on the defensive line, man. It's just. Man, this one sucks, huh? Joe Benson, guys. I mean, what a what what a uh, what a career by Joe Benson. So, wins the 2015 Ben Nair, 2016 Ben Nair, 2016 Nagurski, and 2016 Best Linebacker. Sucks that Joe Benson. I had to move him for his junior and senior year. I had to move him to left outside linebacker. He was Christian Phillips. Uh, was the starting line? Was a middle linebacker, but. Joe Benson out of that middle linebacker spot was something else, man. 71 tackles freshman year, 78 junior. Had 207 total. 63 tackles for loss, man. This guy was a monster. 25 quarterback sacks, six interceptions, two defensive touchdowns, two pass deflections, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery. I mean, this guy, he was the real deal linebacker, man. He was so good, man. Played way better than his overall. Like, this guy was a beast, man. Bringing a blitz here. Second and three, it's a screen pass. Uh, Noah Benson picks it off. It's a pick six, guys. We have the lead. We have the lead. Marcus Anderson, guys, the beast himself. This guy was a monster, man. Six foot seven, 211 pounds. I remember recruiting him. I was like, he's gonna be freaking good, man. I was right. Marcus Anderson, the Marcus Anderson looks good though. He's a 6'7 strong safety by the way. 166 tackles, 22 for loss, five quarterback sacks, nine interceptions, four pass deflections. I mean, this dude, six foot seven safety. I mean, well seen here though. One in 2016 Thorpe as well. Really good player. Man, safety's big hit on our defense, man. Big hit on our defense. He's in the Mac. It's easy with the Marcus Anderson pick six right here. You can't throw a screen pass. They just gave that one to him. Let's freaking go. The Marcus Anderson, what a beast. Touchdown Princeton. Tim Washington guys another tough loss. Um was back up his um freshman and uh, junior years, but sophomore and senior, he did great. Eighty total tackles for us, six TFLs, five interceptions, seven pass deflections. I mean this dude was really good, guys. Uh, tough loss. Really tough loss there. And last one, guys. Chris Crosby, part of that original Princeton Tigers recruiting class. Man, tough loss, man. He was a good offensive lineman for us. Probably one of our best ones. That right guard spot, pretty pretty important, man. But hate to see him go, man. He's really good. Here's your draft results. So, Will Sledge. Goes first round. Yes, sir. Jason Downey goes fourth. Marcus Anderson goes sixth. Let's go. And Cam Hayes goes seventh. Yes, sir, guys. Cam Hayes. That's a steal, guys. Whichever NFL team gets him, man, that is a steal. He is going to be probably one of the best receivers in the NFL, if I had to guess. I mean, he's, he's a beast, man. And Demarcus Anderson, guys, goes sixth. He wasn't projected to be drafted and goes sixth round. Let's go, man. Nice pick up there by the NFL team. All right, so guys, this is how much of the offseason points. We're going to go 2K into Tim Williams. Hopefully he'll commit. Hopefully Buffalo won't drop 15K. I could see them doing that. But oh, well, man. 
won't be too bad of a loss, but I mean, we could really use him. Uh, Scott Bell, I'm dropping 5k into. Really want Scott Bell, guys. He's a really good player. It comes down to us or Michigan State, probably. Uh, Tyler Robinson, we're going 4k into. Hopefully, we can steal him from Georgia. He's a really good linebacker. Would really help out uh, him him and uh, Craig Outlaw, bro. Like, this is would be nasty, bro. Justin McClellan, we're going 500 into. Hopefully, he commits. I mean, if he does, that's man on one. And then Eric Hill, we're going about 3.5k into. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get him or not. It's going to be close. Probably not, if I had to guess. I uh, could really use him, though. And David Bates, I'm going to go 5 and 2. I mean, my, if, he, if he doesn't <laughs> really commit. I mean, that would be really annoying if he doesn't. But, I mean, whatever. It is what it is, right? Right now, our recruiting class is ninth in the nation. Let's see where it ends up. Hopefully top 5, maybe, if we're lucky. See what happens. Here, come on, man. Please get me all those guys. Yes, sir, guys. We get all of them. No way. We get every single guy I went after. No freaking way. Except for the punter. Of course, he didn't commit anywhere. All right, guys. So, David May decides not to go to college. Pretty, very annoying. That means I don't have to go after a punter. So, we do steal him from Georgia. Let's go. Eric Hill. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 330 more, more points over North Texas. We completely just stole him, dude. That's crazy. Because of the high talent, guys. Boom. We get the number one class in the country. I'm actually surprised. The Texas A&M has six five stars. You guys, this is the number one class in the country. I'm not, that's pretty surprising. I'm actually surprised, guys, because, I mean, this is not one of my best classes, even. It really is not one of my best classes. So I'm surprised, but what a class, guys. That's looking good for the future there. Guys, so I'm going to be moving Josh Hand over to right guard. Because we have a 75 there, it's not that good. So he's 83, might as well move him over. He drops down to 79, but I think it's better than having a 75 there. So it's first position change. Because Eric Hill is a 82 overall defensive tackle. We you already know we're moving him there. I right, gotta show you where I put my athletes. So Scott Bell, we put him at quarterback, 80 overall five star. I mean, this dude is the future quarterback right here for Princeton. Uh so it's either him or Chris Landrum. Chris Landrum will be higher overall though, so we, these two will be battling out with that position. Um, running back, I put Tim Williams there. He's eight, he went from 73 to 80 overall. I told you guys, I mean, this dude's a beast. And then Matt Cook, I put him at here because he's 94 speed. He's got some speed running back. I thought, but we can just can we just appreciate this running back room here just for a second? I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this running back room right here. Uh, tight end, we're a little bit struggling. I put Josh McClellan here. He's not that bad at tight end, actually. Uh, when, he only went down four overall, but uh, that's a position I'm going to need to fill this year. Going to have to get a high overall tight end. Linebacker, we are completely loaded, too. I mean, Tyler Robinson going to start day one. Cornerback, a little bit of, an, a, little bit of a, uh, a struggle there, but I don't know. We'll just have to see how, how, how high they go overall. And safety, we got Ulan Dixon. Put him there. Uh, we got Mark Williams as well. We're loaded there. And then strong safety, he'll be better in 80. So we find their kicker. We got Kenan Marks. And we got Dan Williams. And then that's how it is. You guys, this is everybody's favorite part. Training results. Uh, highest overall is Rodney Neal at 96 overall. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's see how many 90s we have. We got 10 90 overalls. But then if you count um, 89s, we got 13 89s, because they'll basically be 90s in games. Quarterback Adam Madison goes up to a 93. Uh, John Latimer, 89, and Chris Landrum, 84. Wish I would have redshirted him. He would have been 84 overall, true freshman, or redshirt freshman. David Sims goes up to a 93. Adam Smith, 89. Mike D'Angelo, 87 sophomore. Uh, AJ Johnson, 85 freshman, and Jared Williams, 83 freshman. Fullback 78, Juan Williams. And Shane Steele goes up to a 76. Receiver, we go Rodney Deal, 96 overall. Deron Clark, 94. Brent Martin, 89. Uh, Ron, Ray Jones, 87. Mikhail Freeman, 85. With a 98 speed. And Michael Regia, 84. And Kevin Harwell, 83. Tight end, James Barnes goes up to 87. Got 84, Gabe Merriam. Left tackle, 90 overall, Dennis Merrick. We'll have him for another year or two. Oh, it's like 95. Left guard. Carl Weezer up to a 92. Uh, Josh Hand up to an 84. 
and Matt, uh, Maurice Jackson to an 88. Tyler Hawley, sophomore, getting a start up to an 82. An 80 overall freshman right there, jeez. Um, right end, we got Mike Fitch in 88. Chris Wright, 81. Defensive tackle, Kyle Thomas, 93. Josh Franklin, 88. Jesse Coleman, 87. Derek Reed, 85. Dwayne Burton, 82. And Curtis Irvin, 81. Casey West, 8 to an 84. Craig Allen up to a 92. Yes, sir. The GOAT. Ronnie Wilson up to an 84. Uh, don't worry about that position. We got an 81 freshman there. Connor Vickers up to a 95. We'll roll with 99 speed, 99 awareness, 95 acceleration, 92 agility. You already know he's going to be running back kickoffs. Jeff Parker up to an 87. Tony Seymour, 81. Ken Gillette, 79, uh, and CJ Griffin, 79. I told you guys we'd be covered there at corner. Free safety, we got Mark Williams up to an 85 overall freshman. Dude's gonna be 99 overall. And Chris Hicks up to an 80. And Dan Williams up to a 94. Let's go. That's what I like to see, guys. You're starting off at number five in the country. Yes, sir. You already know, man. They already know how good we're gonna be. I guess I got my prospects I'm gonna go after. Poor little lock cheese, so uh, Cody Schneider, this kid's a beast. I mean, number one middle linebacker in the country. He's us on third on our board. I mean, that's just crazy. 81 overall. Carl Miner, sixth place, but he's number one. He's at 81 overall. We got some other uh, linemen that we have a chance of getting. Maybe not Jared Keller. We'll just have to see. They got uh, these high overall uh, guards that are all interested in us as well. Really good players there. Have a center two there. I got on my board. I got two tight ends. Both pretty good, both interested. Definitely gonna go after Joel Golden, he has a freak. But um, overall, pretty good, not bad list here. Should be able to go after all these week one. Sadly guys, we are gonna have to register some players. I'm gonna start with Scott Bell. Quarterback, he's literally QB number one, guys. Like, was there not to be excited about that? He has the number one jersey, literally. He's wearing number one jersey. I mean, yeah, that's literally quarterback number one. I'm gonna go ahead and register him though. Uh. So he'll be a 85 overall freshman. It's a beast right there. I'm gonna red shirt. Probably gonna red shirt. Uh, probably gonna red shirt Tim Williams. I really want him to develop, be a good running back for us in the future. And I'm probably gonna red shirt Matt. Co uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm only. I want to get some speed in there at running back. I'm gonna red shirt Charles Bradley. I'm gonna keep Matt Cook though, open to play. So maybe we get some speed at running back. He's 94 overall. Defensive tackle, I'm gonna red shirt, uh, freaking, what's his name, Eric Hill. Might as well, I got a lot of, got enough backup, so, yeah. Might as well get him another extra year. James Allen, I'm gonna go ahead and red shirt as well. Also, Nick Robinson. Although, it doesn't look like, if I get that 80 overall guy, I'm not gonna need him. And I'm gonna red shirt Heath Schuler. Tyler Robinson getting a day one start there. I'm gonna red shirt Derek White. Have him for an extra year. Lane Dixon, might as well go ahead and redshirt you, Lane Dixon, as well. I'm not gonna get to see the field, so might as well go ahead and redshirt him. You know, guys, I might be an idiot for this, but I really couldn't care less, guys. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of getting put in the freaking Capital One Bowl and stuff like that, man. So I'm scheduling a ridiculous schedule. A plus. First game of the year, uh, we go to Jerry World Cowboy Stadium. Uh, take on USC, and then we had, and then after that we have at home against Auburn, number six in the country. Then we go to Minnesota, then we have at, uh, at home versus number four Texas. Then we have a bye week, and then at Michigan State, at home versus Indiana, at Ohio State, at home versus number two Michigan, at Penn State, and we have another bye week, and then at home versus Maryland, at home versus Notre Dame. We get our revenge there. And then at Rutgers to finish off the year, guys. So hopefully we can win. Hopefully we can get to a uh, New Year's Six on this schedule. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna be able to. There's no way we're going undefeated. I'm pretty sure, but uh, we have the hardest schedule in the country, no doubt. All right, so we had two preseason All-Americans. Of course, Craig Outlaw, first team middle linebacker. Second team, apparently Minnesota's quarterback is 99 overall. Holy crap. Uh, Connor Vickers, second team, quarterback, yes sir. All Big Ten, first team, David Sims, second running back. Let's go, David Sims. Um, defense, Greg Outlaw and Connor Vickers. 
All Big Ten second team, anybody on here? Yes, there is. Maurice Jackson at right tackle, yes sir. And Kyle Thomas, defensive tackle, nice job. That is right guys, look at our overalls. 97 overall, 93 defense, and a 99 offense. That is right guys, 99 overall offense. Yes sir, man. Next, next week guys, we will be taking on USC, guys. I am so hyped for this game, guys. I'm so hyped for this season, guys. We're starting off number five in the country, 99 overall offense, guys. What is there to be more excited about, man? I don't know. It's going to be an exciting Princeton season for you guys coming up. Season 7. Hope you guys are stoked. We're going to go for the national championship. You already know how it is. So please, please, please show your support, guys. Comment down below if you are excited as well. Share it to your friends, guys. This is going to be one entertaining season, guys. Believe me. Remember, mark, mark, mark my words, guys. This is going to be one entertaining season. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.